Drag was the first trans-Neptunian object discovered to orbit the Sun backward very slowly, taking 306 years. An interesting fact about this object is that it might not have formed together with our solar system at all. Otherwise, it would orbit the same direction as everything else. It is entirely possible that the comet could have gotten trapped in our solar system from interstellar space, providing us with an unprecedented amount of information about the cosmos. Neptune's moon Triton is one of the largest moons in our solar system, larger than Pluto, and it has just enough gravity to support a thin atmosphere. As shown by the Voyager 2 probe in 1989, Triton is rare among known moons. That's because it is geologically active and volcanoes fill the surface, but they do not spew ash and lava when they erupt, like those on Earth. Instead, they spew water and ammonia. Being just a bit smaller than our own moon, Triton is the only large moon in the solar system to orbit backward. Saturn is indeed known for its staggering ring system. But do you even know just how far it extends out into space? In 2009 astronomers discovered an enormous ring around Saturn, the farthest and largest band around the ringed world. The ring is tilted 27 degrees from the main rings and starts roughly 128 times the planet's radius from its surface, extending to 207 times its radius into space. It is so diffuse that it can only be detected in infrared. But it may be the reason behind the two-toned moon Iapetus. Saturn's moon, Phoebe, orbits within the ring and at the same inclination, so it is very likely that it is the culprit. Dust disperses from Phoebe and falls onto the larger Iapetus, which orbits on the edge of this colossal new ring. Every time Iapetus passes through it, matter collects on its equator. After hundreds of thousands of years, this matter seems to have built up, creating the moon's striking appearance. The moons Janus and Epimetheus are known as the Siamese moons, because they share the same orbit and are separated by only 31 miles, that's less than the radius of the moons themselves. Because of this, they are locked in a gravitational tango that causes them to literally swap places every four years. Due to their complex relationship, they will never crash into each other. Interestingly, a faint ring of dust is present in the region of their orbits. This suggests that the two moons were once a single larger one that has since broken up, leaving behind trace amounts of rubble. Since 1846, astronomers have been searching for a second moon of Earth. Frederic Petit was the first to claim he had found one, proposing that it orbited Earth in less than 3 hours at just 7 miles above our planet's surface. Ever since, there have been many efforts to find the second moon, but without success. However, there is one weird exception. 3753 Kruthni is an alien asteroid that orbits the Sun in 364 days, with perfect resonance to that of Earth. This means that for a short time every year, 
the Three Mile Asteroid is part of the Earth system. It reaches its closest point to Earth every November. However, technically, it is not count as a moon since it leaves Earth.